So there's another question that comes out of one of the AVEX textbooks that you guys would um, possibly be working with. Um, and this question I remember also struggling with um, through um, with some of my students uh, because there's a little bit of a trick in it. Okay, so I'm going to show you that. I'm just going to read the question for you and I'm going to write down the information then I'm going to get rid of this piece of paper. Um, so I'm just going to put it up a little bit here. And now, the question says an aircraft is flying at flight level 75. Okay, flight level 75. Let's put a 075 there to make it more correct. Which means, let's just draw a little aircraft over here flying at flight level 75. Okay, that's a little aeroplane if you're trying to figure out what on earth I just drew. Okay, so we know aircraft is at flight level 75, which in essence means that the aircraft is 7,500 feet above 1013. 1013. Okay, remember above stand. So if the aircraft is at 7,500, we need a little bit more information before we can actually try and solve the question. The question is asking what is the actual terrain clearance that the aircraft would have when passing over the over high ground of 500 or oh, sorry 5530 feet above mean sea level when the QNH is 1005.2 okay we'll ignore that too just to make it a little bit less uh, complicated um, but you don't really need to do it. okay so we know high ground Okay, when they're talking about terrain, terrain is land. So what is our land clearance? Uh, how, how many feet above the land will we get? Or will we be? Okay, so we've got high ground of 5,533 feet. So I'm just going to draw a mountain over here. And uh, write this in. 5530. And we know QNH is 1005. Okay, cool. So I'm going to get rid of that and now I'm going to start uh, drawing. Okay, you can see over there, there's that 1005 and 5530. Okay, then I'm going to go straight to drawing an actual diagram for this. Um, it's a little bit easier when I draw it like this. Okay, so here's our, our high ground or our mountain, whatever you want to call it. And we know that QNH is 1005. And we also know that this field is at five or this high ground is at five five three oh so five five three oh write it in like that and we know that our aircraft is flying along here top at flight level seven five so let's write fl zero seven five okay so we know that from here to here is 5,530 feet. We know from here to 1013 is going to be 7,500 feet. Okay, so first things first, let's find out where 1013 is and you'll understand why we do this in a short while. Okay, so think about it 1013 is going to be above, going to be below. Think about it, should be below. So I'm going to draw it in here. The pen is running out, so if it's looking a little bit ugly, my apologies. Um, so we know that from here to there now is 7,500 feet. Okay, now a common mistake that guys make on this question is they just take this 75 and make it into 7,500 and minus 5,530 from it. Which in actual fact is not going to be right because you've got this small discrepancy between the two. So what you need to do is you need to get them both onto one equal reference point. Okay, you can either get this onto 1013 or you can take this and put it onto 1005. I prefer the last one and that's the one that I'm going to show you. Okay, so let's move this slightly to the right. Okay, and I'm going to get out my green pen. Hopefully it doesn't die on me. Um, so let's get this now to 7,500 feet. Set it to QNH. So we need to figure out what this distance is. Okay, how do we know that? Remember, this is 1013. So, if we can find the difference between these two, we can minus it from 7500 and we'll get that distance. So, the QNH difference between these two is 8. 8 times by 30 is equal to 240. If you're trying to remember where this 30 comes from, 
Remember one hectopascal is equal to how many feet? 30 feet, well done. Okay, so 30 feet. So we now have 240 feet in this gap over here. So if we take the 7,500 minus that, then we're going to have an equal amount over here, and then we'll be able to solve the problem. Okay, so let's take this. Um, oh, we can use the green pen again. So we take 7,500 minus 240, and we get an answer of 7,260 feet. Cool. So we know now from here to there, is 7,260 feet. All right, so now we can take this now and minus this, and then we'll get our answer. Okay, so I'm gonna move this up quickly. Aye, aye, aye. 